Hi, I'm Dr. Brandon Price, and this is Brittany Duran. We're from Head to Toe Spine and Sports Therapy. We're going to show you how to tape for 14.2, which is overhead squats and chest to bar pull ups. So, we're going to be taping hands for chest to bar pull ups and low back and shoulders for overhead squats. So, today we'll be using the Rock Tape H2O tape. And uh, so, the first thing we're going to tape um, are the hands. Um, so, we're just going to do one of the hands to show you how to do it. Um, before you tape anything, you want to make sure that you clean the area properly. We use these alcohol prep swab pads. They seem to work pretty well. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is get a measurement for the hand. I've already pre-cut my tape here. So you want the tape to be able to cover the palm and go into the wrist a little bit. The next step for this is you're going to want to cut a small sliver in the middle of the tape. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right here. I'll walk forward a little bit. So you're going to cut a very small sliver into the tape there. Good. So it'll look something like that. I don't know if you can see the little hole, but there's a little hole there. And then I like to trim off the side just a little bit so that there's not more tape rubbing in between the fingers. So looks like that. So I'll get you hold up your right hand there. Good. So I'm going to break the backing of the tape and go over the middle finger. So as you can see I've got the tape on there and it's covering the pads of the fingers. That's where you normally rip at. So that's the uh, why you don't want to cut that hole too deep. Because if you do that it'll go down into the hand. Then you'll be covering the palm but not the pad of the fingers. So I'm going to take the backing off the tape there. Good. Okay. okay, making sure there's no creases there. piece of tape. So again I'm going to cut the small sliver so again it looks just like that. I don't know if you can see that small hole in the middle there. But break the backing of the tape goes over the finger So as you can see, no creases, it covers the pads of the fingers, covers the palm. Uh, next thing we're going to do is apply an anchor strip here. So I'm going to get her to make a fist. Good. Just going to put it right there in my chest there. And then I'm just going to tape around the bottom part, just around the wrist. There you go, your hand is taped. You're ready for chest to bar pull ups. So, the next thing we're going to do is tape the low back for stability during the overhead squat. So, again, I've pre cut all my strips of tape. Uh, we're just going to be applying them on either sides of the spine here. And so, I'm going to have her bend forward in a forward flex position. That just helps to apply a little pre tension to the tissues. That's going to give me a little bit of stress on the tape there. So. First piece of tape. Uh, 
on the second piece of tape. Go ahead and stand up there. So again, that's going to really help support the low back, especially while your arms are over your head in the overhead squat and when you're in that bottom position. So lastly, we're going to tape the shoulders. This is the same tape job that we did for the snatch in 14.1. So we're going to start off with the right shoulder here. So again, I'm going to have her bend forward in a forward flex position and uh, apply the tape, the posterior part of the shoulder here. Underneath the sports bra here. Good. And then for the left shoulder here. Stand up there for me. So arms over the head. So again, as you can see, we're stabilizing the scapula and the uh, contralateral lat there, which is the low back stabilizer as well. And uh, so that's the basic taping fundamentals for 14.2.